So what's in front of me is a charger. And it's not just any charger. This is what we call a gallium nitrate charger or GAN charger for short. Something this big, this small for that matter, is actually able to output 120 watts. So just to give you guys a comparison, this is the 120 watt charger. This is a typical 280 watt charger from one of the laptops. Now, it goes without saying that you need to make sure your laptop can charge at 60 watts and above through the USB-C, otherwise it just won't charge. But more to the point, this is not a replacement to this, I should make it clear. Because if you still want a smoother gaming experience, you still need this, otherwise you just, it just won't happen. However, for more on-the-go purposes, this more or less fits my needs or your needs, depending on how much weight you want to carry around with you. Compared to silicon chargers, GAN chargers actually charge a lot cooler. They don't heat up as much. So that's one extra added benefit to having a GAN charger. There's a variety of chargers out in the market. Some are actually lower, 100 watts or even 65 watts. But this particular one goes up at 120 watts. Well, if you guys are actually going to be in a market for a GAN charger like this, be prepared to pay anywhere between 100 to 300 ringgit. This particular one I actually got for a little less than 200 ringgit. But again, it really depends on the retailer or the resellers that you uh, see online or even at stores. 